And now, moving on to today, we have this particular light microscopes. It has a source of lights right at the very bottom. Some of them is at the top. Um, but generally, we use light as a source to look on, look at our samples. And this is called light microscopes. Right on top of it is the eyepieces where you put your eyes at to look at the microscopes. And at the bottom, that particular platform is where you put the samples. And you can rotate that middle pieces, the lenses here, is what we call magnified lenses. It can help magnify your samples into different kind of magnification. So magnify just means that you can increase your sizes. Light microscopes can increase your sample up to a, a thousand times so you can see samples that is up to a thousand times bigger. Magnification is what we mean by the degree of enlargement, whether you can make it some, make something bigger, how big you can make it into. And the second factor that you need to look for when you're, you know, looking at microscope is the idea of resolutions. Resolutions is not a very, um, not common word, but it's about how clear you can see a particular object, right? When we say a picture has a high resolution, it means that we can tell the different pixels between them. The higher the resolution, the clearer the picture, because you can now tell two different things apart. So for microscopes, these are the two general factors that you need to think about. Magnification and resolution. How clear you can see an object and how big you can see an object. So it has a limitation. And as technology becomes better, now we have electron microscope. So this structure is an electron microscope. So it has a magnification of a hundred thousand. So you can magnify the structures a hundred thousand times bigger. It scans through electrons, using electron as a source of observation. It has two types of electron microscopes. The first one is what we call scanning electron microscopes. It can scan the surface of the things that you're observing. So you can see the details of the surface area, the, the, the thing that you see outside of the structure. The second thing is a transmission electron microscope. So transmission electron microscope can transmit through the cell and you'll be able to see the detail inside the cell. So here are the two examples where we can see using the scanning electron microscope. The first one is a red blood cell, looks like cereal. And the second one is a white blood cell, which is white. And you have these two images of paramecium. They are the same thing. First picture that you see up there is, you said, look through scanning microscope, and this is seen through transmission microscope. With that, we conclude the idea of cell theory and microscope.